In this video, we're going to be looking at Cinema Studio from Higgsfield AI. So this actually just dropped. We're going to be uh, looking at it. We're going to be reviewing it, seeing how it works, how to use it, etc. And if you want to access it for yourself as well, you can find it on Higgsfield AI's official website. Okay, so let's actually go right in and ahead. So I'm going to click on the Cinema Studio up top over here inside my account. And then in here, I already have some footage ready for you, but I'm going to show you how to actually go step by step and start from scratch. Now first when you start this, as you can see down here at the bottom left, you will have two different options. The first one is video and then the second one is image. Now the way the Cinema Studio works is it's actually amazing for like cinema style videos for maybe trailers, movies and stuff like that. So you have a bunch of different settings you can play around with. The first thing that's very important and this is actually very easy to use, but it is to actually have a start frame. Now the start frame can be any frame and then the end frame is optional, but you you must have a start frame to actually uh, get things done the way you want them to be. So if I come over here, the first thing you have to do inside the video over here is, of course, uh, type in your prompt. OK, I'm going to show you a bunch of different examples over here. But the first thing you have to have is a prompt. Now, because you need a start frame, I'm going to go ahead and create an image first. So I'm going to switch over to image. And then here it says upload image as a prompt. OK, or you can, of course, describe the scene you imagine, which you're going to do right now. So here, as you can see, it's going to allow you to basically select what camera you want to use, what lens and then what focal length you want to use. So I'm just going to go ahead and use a different camera this time. I'm just going to use the, uh, let's just do the Red V Raptor over here and then the Helios lens with the focal length of 24. Of course, you can set this. It's completely up to you. In here, you can then put in your prompt. So for this, we're just going to do something very simple. Uh, I'm going to type in a bunch, uh, bunch of uh, Christmas trees. Uh, let's just do in a mall. OK, that's all I'm going to do for now. So a bunch of Christmas trees in a mall and then I'm going to click on generate and it's going to start generating our first frame. Now, when you've done that, of course, it's going to start generating. And when that's done, you can go ahead and go to video over here and then you have to describe your scene. And when you describe your scene here, you can put on the start frame. You can do that by clicking plus start frame. And then here you can either upload images. You can use your image generations in here. So, for example, I have a bunch of different ones over here. As you can see, there's like a lot. Let me actually just use one of these for now so we can go and move on faster. I'm going to click on this present over here and I'm actually going to click on uh, here and I'm going to describe a scene for which I want to describe, for example, um, the Christmas present, Christmas present explodes and uh, music starts playing with confetti everywhere. There we go. And that's good for now. I'm going to make it 10 seconds over here and the movements. I actually am going to select the movement for this one. As you can see, I have a bunch of different movements you can use static, handheld, zoom out, zoom in, camera follows. There's a bunch of different ones. I'm just going to use this one. Uh, where is it? It's called a drone shot. OK, so let's see what's going to make. I'm going to do drone shot. There we go. And then you can select the duration. I'm going to do 10 seconds for this one. And then I'm going to leave audio on. And then the slow motion, I'm going to turn that on as well. And then I just want the basically one image and then no end frame because I don't need it. If you want a finished end frame, you could also add that in. And then I'm going to click on generate and it's going to start generating. Now, as you can see here, this has already generated our first image. And let's say you want to use this for your uh, further uh, video you want to create. You can just go ahead and use that. Go back to video. And then here I'm going to just remove all this text and then I'm going to re remove this image. Click on plus start frame. And there we go. It's going to, when I refresh, it's going to basically show the new image. There we go. And I can now create the video that I had in mind. So that's how easy it is. And that, let me now show you some examples here. I, for example, have a video. Uh, I'm going to play it for you. It's basically a festive house, which has uh, been uh, the lights off. So it has lights off and then they turn on. And basically I have this kind of drone shot around it. So let me play that for you right now. So as you can see, that's pretty cool. It's kind of a drone shot and it makes it kind of dramatic. It goes through, the lights light up, everything is flashing exactly as I described it over here on the right hand side. So that's the first one. We also have the Grinch here. So I actually made the Grinch and <laughs> the Grinch is actually trying to ring the doorbell. The door opens, he runs in and then he rushes out with a bunch of stolen presents. So let's look at that. There we 
there we go. So as you can see, pretty much exactly what I described, and it's honestly quite cool. Here I do have a present as well, which is a similar prompt to what we just did earlier here. Let me actually put it for you as well. There we go, it's an explosion, and then there's confetti, lights, and stuff like that. Pretty cool as well. Here we have like an abandoned uh, ski slope, which doesn't have enough snow, and then it just turns into a kind of winter wonderland over here. There we go, it starts snowing, everything gets covered by snow, and there we go, the slopes are now formed, which is also quite nice to see. Now, over here, we have Santa driving a car with a lot of different reindeer in the back here, and then he drifts it, and you'll be able to see a Christmas present actually falls on the roof. There we go. As you can see, I also made this from just one start frame, which you can actually see this was a start frame over here. Then we have the Santa pulling out a present out of the chimney. So this may look a bit weird over here. I may have to redo it over here. Didn't understand quite well, but of course it did pull out a present out of the chimney. That's what it did. And then here I have a gingerbread house, which for example, as you can see, it basically disassembles itself magically without anyone actually building it like that. There we go, also pretty cool. And here on the left, you also have like a Christmas tree which lights up itself and some random music starts playing. Also quite nice. Then we have some cookies who uh, eat themselves. That's what I wrote over here. And then some crumbs actually go into the, into the milk as well. As you can see, they're flying in here. So it followed the instructions perfectly. And then here we have our new one, which is the explosive Christmas present. Music's playing. There we go. And then there's confetti. And it's in slow motion, as you can see. Confetti is everywhere. It did exactly what I asked, okay? Which is very, very cool. Now, of course, that's how you do it. It's that easy. I can go ahead and go to video right now. I have this image we generated over here with these Christmas trees. And then I'm just going to type in, for example, uh, let's just do colorful lights. Uh, get put on the trees. Okay, let's just do that and see what it cooks on. I'm going to put slow mode off 10 seconds and the movement is going to be orbit around, which basically kind of pans around the camera, around the objects. And I'm going to do generate and then, of course, it's going to start generating again. So that's how easy it is to actually use this. And of course, you can then use these videos for whatever you want here. You could go ahead and, and like them, you could export them, you could go ahead and reuse them, delete them. You can make, if you basically reuse, it's going to allow you to essentially just like make a copy and reuse the prompt in here at the bottom and yeah so there's a bunch of things you can do with this and it's actually very simple to use and you can just play around with it and create your own trailers your own movies your own short video spots whatever you want to create with that and of course you're not limited to just these ai image generations so you don't have to use your ai image generations you could go ahead and just upload images from your computer maybe the images that you took yourself outside or whatever and you can make your ai videos inside cinema studio out of that as well okay so it's very convenient i hope this video helped you out and you now know how to use it and uh, yeah you can go around and play with it on the higgs fields website so if it helped you out if the video helped you out please subscribe to the channel and help me out as well